hi friends and welcome back to my channel and today we are going to be painting a very easy beginner watercolor sky the end results is gonna look like this it is really simple and easy to do i am using danielle smith watercolors and you can use whatever watercolor you have and I, the paper I'm using is the New York Central Art Supply 100% Cotton Watercolor Block. Now, if you only knew how many times I've tried recording this, <laughs> I messed up. So, I guess they say it, third time's a charm, right? So, let's begin. I'm going to go ahead and wet this. And the colors I am going to be using is... Payne's, um, not Payne's Gray, but Jane's Gray. You can either use Payne's Gray, Indigo, Black, whatever dark, dark you have. I am using Ender Throne, uh, Enden Throne Blue, and also Ultramarine, and some Burnt Sienna. Now, if you don't have Jane's Gray, you can mix up Ultramarine Blue and Burnt Sienna, and it'll make it it will make um make it that color so we're going to begin by taking a very light coat of ultramarine and i'm going to do that in the center and i want to keep it fairly light so doing a thinner coat of that putting it down here now remember watercolor will dry lighter okay and then next, taking my End and Throne, which is a beautiful blue, and taking it on the outside of that, because we're gonna build a gradient. Going back to that little bit of the ultramarine, I just wanna add a little bit more, just ever so light. Okay, End and Throne around that edge again. And then I'm going to take this Payne's, um, not Payne's Gray, but Jane's Gray, which is very similar to kind of, to me, like a Payne's Gray. And we're going to go ahead and put that in. And we want to use the wet on wet because when you do the wet on wet, it's going to effortly, effortlessly, effortly effortlessly if I can get my words out words are hard um, blend it together so go on ahead and darkening the corners with a little thicker paint and going around and I'm doing it to like it's like almost like a rainbow shape and then taking the dark down here and then what we're gonna do if I can ever quit messing with this is we're gonna go ahead and let it dry and we're gonna do two coats of this so once you get this completely dry you want to re do the steps exact same thing hitting the spots in the exact same spots where you want the darker on the outside and then lighter on the inside kind of throwing these colors in and we will let it dry okay and now we're gonna go ahead and do the tree trunk and i'm gonna take a little bit of this burnt sienna a little bit more and then i'm gonna add it to this endo throne and this little middle color 
is gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna do a tree and then kind of taking it down. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this up because I'm gonna do pretty much the same thing. Kind of messed up on that, but it's going to be kind of hidden from Thing anyway but basically we just want like the same type and then so then we're gonna take some of this water I'm gonna blue this down a little and you'll see what we'll do I'm just kind of kind of dab in some of this foliage from the tree And doing the same. Trying to mimic the shape of the tree for the reflection. And then I want to take a little bit more of that burnt sienna kind of watering it down and why it's still a little damp I want to add some of that color in and then just kind of fading it out And it don't have to be absolutely perfect, but you want to get it as close as you can to make it a little bit more believable. And then what we're going to do, I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to go to this Hemi size five round brush but you can use whatever um small size round with a sharp point i'm going to put a little bit of white gouache and the first thing i want to do is i want to draw moon so put in a little circle up in the sky for the moon. Concentrating on the circle. And then lining it up. Doing the same thing on the bottom. Drawing the moon in. Or not drawing it in, but painting it in with the brush. Down below, I think it's a little bit bigger, so go ahead and make that just a tiny little bit bigger. And then I want to put in some of the stars. So I'm just kind of gently dab for right now. And kind of around here. And then I think what I'm going to do.
and add some from this guy. I'm going ahead and lightly remove those because I don't want it to be so dark and remove it off the tree and that's okay. But there's little spots because we can just really, 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 really lightly just kind of blend them in and then it'll be okay. So we are done with our very beginner friendly water color sky. I just want to lighten up that one. Just the hair. Okay, so let me know what you guys think down below in the comments if you like this tutorial. Um, and if you like what you're seeing, please hit the bell notification so you can get be notified when I upload a, another video. I'm just going to put another coat of this white. And I uh, hope everybody has a blessed day. And thanks for watching. Bye.